Hey, Lambda Stairs. You know how you need to be able to track your open rates, click rates, and so on to evaluate your cold email outreach campaign success? The technical setup behind this can actually mess with your email domain's reputation. One way to resolve this and to become a kick-ass email deliverability hero is to set up your custom tracking domain. And also, stay tuned if you want to know whether you should set up a secondary domain for your cold email outreach. Custom tracking what? No worries if this is something you've never heard about or don't know how to set up. I'll go over every detail in this video, so keep watching. And that's not all. At the end of this video, we have another special surprise for you, so stay tuned. I'll give you one hint. Koala, koala. Losing all respect for myself. In order for you to be able to analyze your campaign performance, email automation tools are going to set up tracking pixels and change link URLs in their systems. It lets you understand open rates, click rates, etc. If you don't set up a custom tracking domain, however, the risk for your domain reputation to go south are pretty high. I can't let you take that risk. Why? Because the link URLs won't match your sender domain and the default tracking domains are shared amongst the many users. All right, let's imagine this. Vuk and I share the same default tracking domain. Of course, Vuk is going to be up to no good because, well, it's Vuk. And me, I'm nice and playing by the rules and I just want to create meaningful relationships with my clients. Now, Vuk, the terrible spammer gangster, gets blacklisted for his unforgivable crimes and he tears me down with him because of the shared tracking domain. What? But that's not fair. It's not my fault. If I had added my own custom tracking domain, I would have been able to control my deliverability and domain reputation, and I wouldn't have ended up on the blacklist. So make sure that you use an email automation tool that lets you control this to avoid that your email deliverability goes to shit. Excuse my French. <laughs> Sacre you there. You are so French. <laughs> Our tip, set up a secondary domain in order to protect your main domain, because in case it gets blacklisted, so many other aspects will be impacted. For example, SEO, transactional emails, etc. So it's really worth it. It does need some more work on the technical side for setting it up in the DNS, so you might need some help from a developer. It also has additional costs, for example, to buy the domain name, the new email addresses, etc. In order to decide whether you really need a secondary domain, you can evaluate the need for your main domain's protection, meaning that you can define the likelihood of getting blacklisted and how impactful that would be for your business. For Lemlist, we had to learn the hard way. Our reputation really suffered when we scaled our sales team in a super short amount of time. As I mentioned in our video on deliverability, consistency and volume are super important for your email reputation. Rapidly scaling the sales team meant a super fast increase in emails being sent out, which was therefore really bad for our reputation. This is when we decided to create our secondary domain for a sales team and it solved our deliverability problem. So if you have a startup that is in hyper growth, a big sales team, or if you're simply just starting out with cold email outreach, a secondary domain can be a lifesaver. Remember that if you're hiring a lot of new people in your team, they might not be aware of all of the best practices and make honest mistakes that could make your main domain suffer. So in this case, it's really better to play it safe and use a separate domain in order to protect your main domain. However, if you have a steadily growing sales team that is well informed about the best practices and plays by the rules, and if your domain has been around for a while, creating a secondary domain might be less of a priority for you. Now, let me show you how to set up your custom tracking domain on Lemlist. Just go on the user tab in the settings section to set it up right here, or set it up for your entire team in case all members are using the same domain. So so you want to add your custom tracking domain in this field right here. It would usually be lemlist.com for us, but I'll use another example for this demo. It's called chefsimon.co. What's super awesome is that Lamblist will do most of the work for you here. It shows you what domain provider you're using. For us, it's Gandhi, as you can see here. And it'll also give you the link with the subdomain setup or DNS entry explanations for your specific domain provider. It'll also give you all of the details you'll need to paste on the domain provider website to set everything up correctly. Since we use Gandhi, I'll show you how it works with this example. But as I said, you have the instructions in the link provided on Lamlist for other domain providers, and the process is exactly the same. Once you go on the site, you want to click on the domain that you want to add a subdomain for and click on the DNS section. Then click on add record and you will see different link blocks that are related to the information provided on the Lambdist app. So all that you have to do is to copy and paste them into the right blocks. Then you click on save and you're done. 
Now, in order to check if your freshly created subdomain has been taken into account, in order to finalize the setup in the Lemnist app, you can use different platforms. We usually go for our MX Toolbox. Click on DNS Lookup, enter your newly created DNS record, and click on DNS Lookup. If it says DNS Record Found, you're all good to go. If not, remember that it can take up to 72 hours to be recognized, so just set a reminder to check again in the following three days. You'll just have to wait. You can go back on the Lamblist app and click on set up my tracking domain and it's done. I hope you liked this video. If you did, then please don't hesitate to like and subscribe. I hope you liked this video and no, I won't ask you to like and subscribe. I dare you to. If you don't like this video and subscribe to our YouTube channel, you'll have to make up a rap about a koala and then send me the video to charlotte at lambdas.com. Our Lamartyr Erwan did it, so not liking and subscribing and not doing the dare will be really bad for your karma. Cassez-vous! Cassez-vous, on a dit! Il est mal! Il est arrivé, hein? Ok, je ne sais pas ce qu'il fait. Koala. I was born as a marsupial, don't mistake me for a stupid bear And fuck you know, it is in denial, it's stereotype and I say it's unfair I don't do hugs and I don't do kisses, I don't do drugs and I don't chase misses I'm just a chill on my eucalyptus, nah thank you, I don't drink, I don't get worried of us I don't need all that shit to get high, bruh You should try my regime to look good in your bright, healthy and tasty Try this leaf and voila, if you hold on to me, you'll soon be koala You'll soon be koala You'll soon be koala J'avais l'impression d'être bon, mais je suis mauvais. <laughs> wow, what a star. If you have any questions or comments, don't hesitate to let us know. Simply write a comment underneath this video or find us on LinkedIn. We'd be happy to hear from you. In the meantime, stay amazing and I'll see you in the next video.